Okay, let's talk about some variants, and we'll play some games here. The game chromatic number of a graph is the least integer for which there is a strategy for one of the players, let's say Alice, that will enable her working in cooperation with Bob, meaning they're going to alternate turns, to color the graph using T colors. And let's do this on the doc cam for a couple of graphs. Well, they're both working, but all right. So we had this example the other day. Here's the graph. Now, if you got to color it all by yourself, how many colors does it take to color this graph? Two. Uh, all by yourself. Well, if you use three, you, you, just two, right? There are no odd cycles. This graph is too colorable. But if you have to color this graph with Bob, and you never can be sure about Bob. Is he trying to be helpful, or is he just a little thick and makes occasional mistakes? So they have two colors, red and blue. And they alternate turns. And Alice goes first. She says, I'm going to color this one red. And Bob says, oh, let me help. Let me help. Let me help. Let me grab it. So then Bob's turn, he colors this one blue. And Alice goes, you idiot. <laughs> You're not helping. Oh, yeah, I did. I colored. I colored. I, you know. You... All right. And now, of course, uh, with only two colors, then the coloring cannot be completed. So Bob was helping only in the sense of sharing the labor. But was he a cruel, vengeful adversary or just a little sloppy? Who knows? Nobody asked him. He just picked up a color and colored. All right. Here's a graph. It is the complete bipartite graph minus a matching. This graph comes up in many settings. We've already talked about how this graph figures in the analysis of first fit. Okay. Now, I, I, I know this picture is a little hard to see. But you have five vertices on one side, five vertices on the other side, but they come in pairs, and the pairs are not adjacent. Is it clear what I mean by this picture? OK, let's color this graph together. You go first, and then I'll help. Pick a vertex. You, but top or bottom, and one, two, three, four, five. Huh? Top left. Top left. Okay. So you want me to color that vertex with what color? Uh, the positive integers. He, he said, let me repeat that. He said color one. He's got the crayon out. My turn. Let me help. Your turn. What? Why not one? Uh, you don't like one anymore? Oh, oh, oh. oh you, you want to put a two right there? That's what. That's not very original, but but since you have the crayon out, let me help you. Your turn. Well, um, a one, I guess, next to that two we just put. 
You can't do that. No, you can't. How about three? Where? No, you can't recolor that vertex. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> oh, oh, this one. Yeah. Why, why not that one? I don't want to do that. <laughs> okay. Oh, you could. <laughs> if, if you did this, let me help. Let me help. And now it becomes clear to you that I'm not really helping at all, am I? I, I am a dedicated adversary. And I'm making the worst possible legal move. Every time you color, oh, and you, you could go over here. It's your turn. So now you switch sides. You go over here four. Oh, let me help. And so every time I help, help, I eliminate that color from ever being used again. <laughs> 